All right, now we're going to look at drilling through the collet. So we've faced it off in our previous step, and now we can start using our drill chucks to drill the hole that goes all the way through the center. You're going to want to grab one of the drill chucks out of the drill chuck box, and it's going to go into this sliding tailstock here. Now, when you just put that in, see how it just spins? It needs to be out further for it to engage. It's got to grab onto that tang. So you put it in, wind it out. There is measurements on here, so you need to wind it out to about 15 or 20, and that's when it clicks in and it won't spin. If you wind that back, it'll start spinning. You don't want to do that whilst you're drilling through your collet. So bring it out, and you can use the big lever at the back to clamp that in place. This is a quick grip chuck, just like our drill press. So you can put that in, and then gently slide it up. Don't go and ram it in, because all you're going to do is break the tip. Clamp it in place, and then that's ready to go. Now, we're going to turn the speed down to 770 for this. Whenever you change the speed, always do that pass by hand, just to make sure that you can feel the resistance. If there's no resistance and it spins really quickly, it means the gears inside aren't clicked in together and it's going to grind when you turn it on. So take it down, turn it on, put it in forwards, bring our coolant over. Now this is a center drill, so all we're going to do is drill in until we get to the shaft. Nice and easy. Into the shaft and out. Now we can just swap over to our next drill bit. I'm just going to take this out and show you exactly what that's done there. All it's done is drill that little bit of a cone shape into there so that the rest of our drills when they go in are going to align and start cutting. If you were to just take this drill bit and start drilling straight onto flat, it would move around just like it would when we are drilling on the drill press. So you always need to center drill before you drill on a lathe. So I'll put that back in. We can take our chuck holding the center drill out. And we can put our chuck with that 10 millimeter drill bit in. This one's a little bit longer, so we need to move it back a little bit further. Hopefully you can still see the handle in the video. Bring it up nice and close. Safety down. On. Forwards. Cooling on. Now we can start drilling. Now that swarf that's coming out there, don't ever grab that. It's razor sharp and extremely hot. When you're drilling through this, you just need to feel the speed that you need to go. Because if you push it too hard, it'll start squealing and it won't uh, drill very well. It'll just burn our drill bit out. If that swarf stops coming out, you need to back your drill bit out. Let it clear off in the coolant and go in again. This is a process called peck drilling. Now my coolant's starting to run out a bit, so I'm going to need to fill this up, but I'll keep going through this. So drilling about 10 millimeters, backing it out, going in again, drilling about 10 millimeters, backing it out, going all the way through. This isn't a quick process, and you don't need to rush yourself through it. There are a lot of people to get through the lathes, but you need to take your time, because if you don't, you're going to end up burning through drill bits. And once you start burning through drill bits, then we start damaging tools, and our job doesn't get drilled correctly. So once we're all the way through, we're nearly there. You'll feel the resistance go. Once there's no resistance, that means that you're all the way through. So not quite. But you need to keep coming back in and out to clear out, clear out those flutes of swarf. Now if you don't clear them out, once it gets to this point, the metal will just keep rubbing against the side and it'll eventually harden and get stuck in there. Now I've drilled the whole way through with that, and my coolant's back to working, so I'm going to keep going. 
we're going to take that one out. Now we're going to come over to this. This is about an 18 millimeter drill bit, and you can see it's got its own collet that goes into the tailstock. So we slide it up, wind it in, clamp our tailstock. This is going to squeal a little bit until it gets in, but then it should be a fairly smooth movement. Because the flutes on this are a lot larger, the waste material will be able to fall out, but every now and then you should still bring it back just to let the coolant run over the front of the drill bit. So we're bringing it back, we're clearing it out, letting it cool down a little bit. a bit of waste material from the inside of this so you do need to just keep going slowly I'm nearly through but I don't want to rush because I don't want to overload the drill bit heat it up make it blunt it's through so I can bring it out now that's going to be extremely hot even though the coolant's been running over it so don't go and grab it you can take it out I can put in our last drill bit. Now this one's quite large. But we still need to use the same care and still need to flood it with coolant. It's gonna make a bit of noise at the start whilst the, uh, the flat surface is cut onto. might be getting pretty blunt so we'll see how this goes there we go once it's in it cuts quite well it's just that first part because it's a lot of surface area of the drill bit touching the surface area of your metal and it's getting blunt because we've used it for so many years but it makes that high pitch noise Again, that waste material that's coming out is extremely hot, so don't go and wipe it away with your hands. Bring it out to let the drill bit have a bit more coolant. I know what I'm saying is getting repetitive, but that's the nature of lathe work. It's all the way through, there's no more resistance. So I can pull it out, I can turn it off. Turn my coolant off, lift it up. Again, I'm still not touching any of the swarth. I'm gonna use a brush later on to clean all that down. And when I go to get this out, I need to be aware that it is also going to be very hot. So either leave it in there until it cools down or grab something to help you take it out. There's our collet with a 23 millimeter hole board all the way through it.